Hey again, and welcome to another video. So I had decided that for the next month's Patreon rewards, I wanted to do a lino cut of one of the fungulates from my fungulate series in February. And I was really enjoying um, the design I did for the inky cap. So I thought, what better one to break into trying to do a lino cut prints with than this cutie. Um, so I made the design really simple because I don't know how to do lino cuts. I haven't done them before. I'm not very practiced at it, but I thought it was worth a shot. <laughs> so I designed it really quickly on the computer and then I just used some tracing paper to um, transfer it onto the block and then a ballpoint pen to kind of darken up all those lines. It worked out better than I thought it would um, because I'd been putting it off because I was terrified of ruining everything. Um, but in the end I decided to go with the inky cap and then just sort of do it really simple with this moon silhouette in behind it. I thought that would give me a good um, chance to practice my carving as well as leave a little less room to mess up. Um, so as you can see here I kind of went with a cool like moon shape uh, and then that way I could alternate between the white and black. Um, so like one part could be solid black and the other parts could be solid white and that also let me like switch between those two things on the on the inky cap fungulate itself. Uh, I was very 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 nervous to do this um, but it worked out. Spoiler alert it worked out so it's fine. <laughs> I really wanted to try and get some of those like little details that I put in when I draw stuff and when I had done the two chicken stamps previously um, the way I'd done it was I left them um, just solid black and then I had carved out the little like feather details in this case I wanted to try and do where I had um, line work in it so that the body on the dark part could be um, pretty much all white but with some line work and then the head which was over top of the white moon could be all black with a couple details carved out like I'd done previously. That was a lot of carving. <laughs> it took a long time um, but it was worth it in the end. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm hoping eventually I'll get a little more steady and better at um, getting those lines smooth without having some like juttery edges. But I think for my first time trying to do a print, I, th I think I did okay. Um, if you disagree, please don't tell me. Also, I'm sorry my head keeps getting in the frame. <laughs> I was trying not to mess up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just have the three tips with my carving tool that it came with. And uh, I just kind of alternated between the really fine tip and the medium tip for the most part. Uh, and then I used the really big tip to sort of carve out the rest of the moon. but. That was about it. <laughs> I had also decided that for a background, just to give it a little bit more variation, uh, I would do this sort of like scoring technique to kind of make it go as a gradient from light to dark. So light near the horizon by its feet up to more solid dark uh, night sky, I guess. So I just did some hatching. I used the ruler to kind of keep my lines a little steadier just so I wouldn't completely mess up and have them all be crooked. Uh, and I, I like the result. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna keep saying that because I'm really proud of myself for this one. Uh, and I also did a little bit of like notching here and there in the background to kind of add almost like shooting stars or I don't know, just just some more texture, something a little more interesting to look at. Um, if I try doing more of these. I think I'm going to try and do that technique as well. I also tried to hash in the opposite direction on the bottoms of the feet and like where the um, where I had gradients going into like black colors on the um, ink droplets on the inky cap. Um, I'm not sure if I would do that exactly like that again. I'm sure there's a, s a smarter way to do it but I uh, again I'm just learning. I also put way too much ink on my glass and so you can see here I'm fighting with like well, how do I get rid of all this ink and then I just realized well I gotta do a couple test prints anyways to make sure it's not messy like if I have to carve anything so I might as well just use up some of that excess ink doing that and um, getting a bunch of it on the counter you know because that's what I do I'm kind of messy. I have a handful of different toned papers the prints for the end of the month which will all be hand pressed. Uh, I'm going to do on these nice colored toned papers. They'll be thinner than my normal prints. Um, they won't be as like heavy, but 
I, I think it turned out pretty good. So you can see here on the first print, it's kind of like goopy because I put too much ink on. Um, but I did go in and I cleaned up around the mushrooms and a few other spots. And then I kind of just kept going at it and practicing until I got one that I really liked. And before I end out this video, I'd like to also thank my patrons who will be getting this print and who also make it so that I can do these things. Uh, Bronwyn Langpack Casey, Bina Carr, Katie Fairbanks Haynes, Sam Bennett, Courtney Tizzard, John Rex, Dan the Penguin, Michelle Dewing, Milla Pixel, Renee, Sarah, Emily Cannon, Mary Chase, Nicole Goodnight, Justin Thulu, Atticus Jackson, So Spice, Audrey McAvoy, Olivia White, Philippa Riggs, Tasha Red Fox, Jackalope Burrow, Rory, Jesse's Grill, and Andrew Wilson. And if you would like to join my Patreon before next month and get a lino cut print as well as uh, some stickers, then you can join my Patreon in the description below. And uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye!